Okay. So this is a combination of recording with a DSLR camera. I'm editing the video with CapCut. And some of these transitions are sick. And I'm also using different types of AI animation applications. Now let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Will AI really affect the photo booth industry? I think it's definitely gonna affect the 360 photo booth industry in a very positive way because we are just dealing with modern day technology adding extremely cool effects to our production. But how do we streamline these AI apps into our workflow? Well, if you guys know, if you guys have jumped over onto Snapic, you guys realize that Snapic already has AI segmentation going on, which allows AI to really isolate the individual and either do a background, <clears throat> background blur or foreground blur and so on and so forth. So those features are already available on Snapic. And I just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys haven't. Real quick guys, can you please help me with a thumbs up? Thank you. Try it out, Snapic, for the first time in your career. Now, if you guys have Luma Booth or Touch Picks, you guys are gonna have to kind of keep me updated because I haven't jumped into those apps in, in a very, very long time. Back to the topic though. Here's one thing I don't like so far about these AI applications that I'm using. It dumbs my video down. So for example, if I have a video that's 1080p, the quality, the resolution is pretty fair. Actually, it looks pretty good. What I've noticed about these AI applications, when I go to put my video in the app, the app then applies the effects that I want, and then when it exports the video, it's at 720p. Resolution, we lose some quality. In fact, we lose a good amount of quality, and that to me is a giant turnoff. So what I see is several things. One thing, I think that AI eventually is going to get better because it's gonna, right now it's at a point where human is teaching AI information, AI is taking that information and upgrading itself and evolving. It's gonna get to a point where it grows so fast that it's going to be AI teaching itself and that from that point on, we will lose as a society, okay? Because the computer AI won't need us anymore because it's so self-sufficient and that's the way that things are gonna go down. I think so. Um, talk about your opinion in the comment box below. Now, as I was talking about these applications with AI, yeah, they're dumbing down our production. I think that sooner or later, they're gonna be so competitive amongst each other, you know, these AI application developers, that they're gonna start offering that 1080p and then along 4K is gonna come around and then the AI is gonna look extremely gorgeous, very, very beautiful when it comes to the production. I think that Snapic, this is just my opinion, I think that Snapic might be one of the first photo booth softwares that's going to continue to evolve for the fact that I already have AI segmentation built in. I think it's going to start doing some of the cool stuff I am doing using third-party apps. So take a look at my workflow. So this is what I'll be doing, guys. So for example, I'll download my 360 photo booth video onto my iPhone or my iPad. And what I'll do next is I'll open up whatever application I decide to use when it comes to the AI. And then it takes about three minutes or less to put in that effect. Okay, so think about it, three minutes, not a very long time. Once that's completed, then I'll move that video with the AI animation in it and I'll move it into CapCut. All right, so this is how it looks when it's inside CapCut. Let me go ahead and open up CapCut for you guys here. Now, I was using iMovie when I first started my YouTube channel and just about two months ago from the making of this video, I started using CapCut just because it gave me a lot more tools and features that I think, honestly, is totally worth it. So if you guys are not using CapCut, consider jumping and checking out a cap cut making that jump into growing into something new. Always remain curious, curious enough to try something new. So as you guys can see here, let me go ahead and record my screen so you guys can see uh, what I am talking about here. Give me a few seconds. All right, now I'm recording my screen. So these are two videos that I put in. Right here is a transition. Right here is another transition. Right here is an extra added effect, and right here we have another added effect with the audio here in the bottom. Now, let me go ahead and make this a little bit larger 
so that you guys can see a better view of this thing, okay? So I'm gonna go play this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill the volume here, um, just so you guys can actually hear my voice. Now, as I'm toggling and I'm moving along here, I'll, the term is called scrubbing. As I'm scrubbing down here, you guys will see the effects that came out of the application. And then we're about to hit our first effect I used on CapCut. Now, here we go, here comes the effect. Boom, right there. That blue that you guys seen, here we go, do it again. That blue little uh, extra effect I added was through CapCut. And now, we're about to go into our secondary clip and this is called a transition effect. Now, here we go into the transition effect. Boom. A paper unfolding, cuts right in. All right, we're about to hit another effect I added on CapCut, here we go. And it's gonna be this, this shake. It, it, it shakes a little bit like this, and then boom. How does it shake, David? Just like that. All right, sweet. And then the next, uh, the last transition is right here. It's coming up. So here we go, guys. The transition is right there. So it fades away like that. You guys can see it fades away into my actual logo outro. Uh, and that's that. So that's where I'm at right now with AI. Those are my thoughts right now. I think that AI is going to move relatively quickly. So I hope that you guys are becoming a lot more curious just so that you guys can use AI or artificial intelligence to your benefit, not just in your production, but your business, your workflow. I hope this video inspired you guys to become a little bit more curious and dive into some of these applications and softwares and just always stay relevant in the industry. I know some of you guys are not doing this full time and, and uh, it's just a lot of work, but this is another reason why you guys should subscribe because I'm constantly gonna be putting stuff out that I find pretty appealing. And I think AI and the photo booth rental business are, are definitely gonna complement one another. So I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.